Well, hi everyone, I'm Judy Elliott, and thank you for being with us. And for the next few minutes, we are spending some time at Wren's Nest Center for Wellbeing, and I'm talking with the owner, Cindy Michaels. And Cindy, thank you so much for letting us come out. It's, it's great to be here with you. Well, thank you for coming. You know, a lot of people may not know that um, what the mission here at Wren's uh, Nest, kind of give me that, uh, what the mission is here. Yeah, we're a center for well-being. Um, our, we're about space, we're about providing services, educational opportunities, all around the mission of wellness. Mm -hmm. um, the space is a really important part of that mission because it's community space. Mm -hmm. And a space that hopefully when you come in that you feel a place is quiet and peaceful, a little bit of a step away from your day to day living. That is so true and I think I shared that with you the first time that I you missed did. it here. Yeah. It is a very peaceful atmosphere. There's so, just something here that you almost have to come to experience that. Um, and you know, the, um, we talked a little bit about the mission statement, but what, what are the services that you provide here? There's partners of Wren's Nest that provide the services. And we have acupuncture, we have psychotherapy, we have two psychotherapists, one that does individual therapy, Bob Ryan. Our acupuncturist is Christine Pope. We have another psychotherapist that provides workshops and support groups, that's Susan Ewing. Um, Dr. Blaine Miner is providing wellness and nutrition consults um, here at Wren's Nest around integrative medicine uh, holistically. And Yoga by Cindy provides uh, private yoga assessments and consults as well as classes. Mm -hmm. We also have Dr. Linda Norman providing meditation and leading meditation two days a week right now mm -hmm. in a group uh, mm -hmm. for an hour. Right, and I think it's so important that, it, as you mentioned earlier, sometimes everyday life can be so stressful, trying to, to, trying to get everything done in, in one day, that it's wonderful to have a place like Wren's Nest that you can come and just relax and really get in touch with your inner being. Right, make an appointment for yourself, mm -hmm. to show up for yourself, that's what I tell people. The hardest part is to make the commitment to just show up for yourself, to mm -hmm. carve it into the space. Once you're here, the magic just happens. You right. just have to show up. Right. And I know you, you also uh, mentioned that it is, uh, you wanted this to be for the community. And let's talk a little bit about that and how that is, how you've made that available to the community. I know that you have, you're going to be having different types of workshops. Right. Educational experiences first. Um, quarterly, we would like to offer some kind of educational experience. Um, a, a keynote speaker, a book signing, um, a cooking class, I mean a variety of things around wellness that we could bring in. Um, I also want to be able to provide for the community a place that they could do some of their own events, weddings, bridal showers, um, places where people could come for celebrations mm -hmm. of, of one of the, some of the things that would be um, available. The garden clubs have come, um, we have teas, just a place, the gardens are nice here, you can also be out in the gardens, so mm -hmm. that's another uh, advantage. Walking the nature trail, mm -hmm. we have a nature trail around, uh, just being in the space. There's a platform and there's also a labyrinth, a walking meditation mm -hmm. at the end of the, of the property that you can come and walk. Right, and I know you mentioned that you're also uh, available for weddings and you have a beautiful garden here for weddings and, and receptions and, and that's very important as well for that's people right. to know that it's here. That's right, that's right. right. We, we have the capacity to do weddings and, and you can cater out of our kitchen. Um, we do have a full kitchen so that is a, a nice advantage. There's a full bath here. Uh, the space really does, it's two spaces really uh, connected by a breezeway. Mm -hmm. So there's two different kinds of spaces when you come in and you just have to come and see. Mm -hmm. it, it lends itself to a lot of variety. Right. And I know um, you, we also talked about, uh, we have this called um, um, Free Library? Free? Oh, yeah. the, Tell the, me about that. <laughs> give a book. Little, take, little Library. Little Free Lending yes. Library. <laughs> Give a book, take a book. Um, it's a great concept. I first learned of it in Denver and came and started researching it and um, our construction guys got really into it. In fact, our little free Linden library is on Pinterest. It got a recognition for distinction because of the concept of the center as well as the design of the little free lending library. Mm -hmm. But yes, you just come and join the community, take a book, bring a book. 
uh, communicate about it, write down, you know, leave, leave a note what mm -hmm. you liked about the book. It's just mm -hmm. another community building opportunity. Right. Now, the workshops that we talked about also, you can find more information about Renslis on Facebook as well, right? Right. Facebook is where things are the most dynamic. Mm -hmm. There's going to be posting going on more rapidly than our webpage, but our webpage is also available, www.rensnestcenter.com. Mm -hmm. And on Facebook, it's Rens Nest Center. Um, to be able to go and, and learn about what the classes are, the pricing, services, uh, and to see the space itself. Mm -hmm. But also we'd just like for people to come by. Right. I mean, you can come by and just tour uh, and, and take a take a look at the beautiful gardens right. here and, and the uh, whole facility. There's so many options that can be actually held here. Uh, and we just appreciate so much you bring this to the community. We're going to be also talking in just a moment. You also have yoga classes, which you are an instructor. Sure, yes. I have another <laughs> instructor, too. Uh, Marsha Evans is the second instructor. but. Yes, we have many classes. All right. Well, we're going to take a, a break right here. We're going to be talking with Christine about acupuncture, but um, we'll come back and talk with you a little bit more about the yoga class. Okay. Thank Look you. Look forward to it. Thank mm -hmm. you. Well, now I'm talking with Christine Pope with uh, LifeGate Acupuncture, and certainly it's great to, to share some time with you. Uh, tell me a little bit about yourself here. I am a licensed acupuncture. I'm licensed to practice acupuncture in Georgia and Tennessee. Mm -hmm. I am really happy to be practicing in Georgia, finally, and uh, I, uh, I'm a graduate of Jungdao School of Classical Chinese Medicine mm -hmm. in uh, Sugar Grove, North Carolina. Right. And you know, a lot of people do ask the question, what is acupuncture? Tell me a little bit of what that is. Well, acupuncture works with uh, the body's bioenergetic energies mm -hmm. to promote health and uh, push disease out. Um, most people find it extremely relaxing, mm -hmm. so it's very useful for things like stress or low energy, mm -hmm. um, but it's much deeper than that. Uh, it can be used for everything from depression and anxiety, insomnia, um, digestive issues, chronic uh, autoimmune problems mm -hmm. like fibromyalgia, mm -hmm. um, musculoskeletal pain, So, so many pain. benefits. Yes. And we just, you just mentioned some, but I know we talked earlier that there is really a long list of reasons why uh, someone would come and make an appointment with you. Absolutely. Tell me a little bit about what would you expect when one would come for the first time? The first appointment would probably last between an hour and an hour and a half. Mm -hmm. It's important to remember to wear uh, loose fitting clothes so that the below the knees and below the elbows are easily accessible. Mm -hmm. um, I would have the per person fill out a short a questionnaire, mm -hmm. health questionnaire, and then I would, of course, mm -hmm. observe, and right. maybe palpate, um, feel pulses, look right. at tongues, very right. strange things right. in Western. Right, and tongues. I guess customize something that they would that would work with them. The treatment would right. absolutely be customized to what okay. their problem and their constitutional okay. issues are. Okay, tell me how would someone make an appointment with you? Very easy. Okay. Call Wren's Nest. Uh, there's a line specifically for my business, okay. and if I don't answer the phone, leave a message and okay. I will call back. All right. Well, thank you so much for taking time to talk with us today. I appreciate it. Thank you, Judy. Well, I'm now talking again with Cindy Michaels, and Cindy, um, we talked a little bit earlier about so many things here that you'll find at Wren's Nest, but I know you also are, are um, a yoga instructor. Tell me a little bit about that. Um, first of all, what about your credentials? Yes, my business is Yoga by Cindy, and my credentials start back with my old life where I was an occupational therapist for 35 years. Mm -hmm. I was, worked mostly with children. I have a master's degree in child development, and I started doing yoga just for my own benefit, but then I started training, um, and I had my 200 hours, and then I went back and got my 500 hours and became a yoga therapist. Mm -hmm. So I feel like that it's a really good blend of where I was and where I am now. It's a little bit of a different way to approach yoga. Uh, so as a yoga therapist, um, I can provide classes specifically around healthcare needs. Mm -hmm. And I do teach classes for children as well as pre and postnatal classes. I have a certification for that. And then I teach, my classes are generally themed around 
the seasons as well as the healthcare needs. Okay, great. Now, um, a lot of people maybe have never experienced yoga. Tell me a little bit about what, what yoga is. Words fail to convey what yoga really is. You just have to experience this, is what Ivangar used to say. But yoga really means to yoke. It's about blending your body and your mind, yoking things together, pulling it together, uh, not having separateness. The tools of yoga are both posture, are all posture, breath, and meditation. So within an hour class, you will partake in all of that mm -hmm. in the hour class. Right. And to do, be able to have the health care benefits, you need all three. Right. Now, what are some of the benefits that you would expect from yoga? Yeah, right away after a class, you'll have improved flexibility. You will have clarity and improved brain function. You'll lower your stress levels. Um, after a couple of months, you will also have um, relief from any kind of chronic pain of your back, anxiety relief, improve lung uh, capacity, lower the blood pressure, and then after years you're going to have stronger bones, you're going to have a healthier weight, and you're going to have a lower risk for heart disease. Mm -hmm. So there are many, many, many benefits. Many benefits, yes. And I know you mentioned earlier also that your classes change seasonally. They so do. I guess the best way for people to either call and to find out how or what classes are being held during the, during the season. That's right. We, we change um, on the equinox and the solstice and we take breaks in between but we really run about a 10 to 12 week sequence of classes but you can join at any time. Mm -hmm. um, it's just so that we can kind of keep up with what we're trying to teach mm -hmm. and theme it that way. So anytime, just come by call um, 529-NEST or look at the web page. Okay. All right, and I know there are so many things that um, we talked about earlier that, that you offer here at uh, Renz Nest. And I, I just want to say, you know, it's, it's great to have this in our community. A lot of people have had to go other places, and now all this is under one umbrella in Dalton. Right this down the wonderful. street from Kroger's. Right. Right past the Kroger's parking lot, take a right. Shields Road, and you'll see it. From Dug Gap Road, uh -huh. past the Kroger's parking lot. You're going to turn onto Shields Road. Okay. Great. 2001. Great. Again, make an appointment. To come by and visit, certainly you uh, do not uh, charge for people to, who want to come and, and no. look at the facility. Just and, let me know you're coming, so I'll be here. Right. <laughs> or plan an event. I mean, there's so many options here. So thank you so much again for letting us come out. We appreciate it uh, and being here. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. I would personally like to invite you to come and visit Wren's Nest Center for Wellbeing. Come take a yoga class. Come and partake in an educational experience through the workshops. Come walk the nature trail. Come visit a consult with our Dr. Blaine Miner. Have an acupuncture treatment. Come and sit and talk with a counselor. Get your needs met through Wren's Nest. I look forward to seeing you.